syndrome the nephritic syndrome and the nephrotic syndrome oh okay so let's list out the causes for that how the point that will help you to differentiate either it's a nephritic syndrome or a nephrotic syndrome remember the age usually is seen in the older or school aged children in a nephritic syndrome so means the age is more in nephritic and in nephrotic usually younger children there's a preschool okay and if you talk about the preceding cause uh, preceding uh, the patient will have upper respiratory infection or a pyoderma may be present in the nephritic syndrome and this type of story or history you don't see in what you call nephrotic syndrome okay uh, if you talk about the clinical features uh, in a patients with a nephritic syndrome they will have edema okay hematuria they will have hypertension okay oliguria but in case of nephrotic syndrome there is anasarca oliguria okay but the hematuria and hypertension are rare rare remember so if you have hematuria then think of nephritic syndrome as a first cause okay rather than nephrotic syndrome okay and if you do some renal function tests okay in the renal function tests are adversely affected in the nephritic syndrome than the nephrotic syndrome like the most common being what you call minimal chain nephrotic syndrome so it's a rarely affected right so but it also depends on different type of nephrotic syndrome right okay in uh, renal function tests uh, like hyponatremia hyperkalemia may be present bun what you call bun and the creatinine ratio may be increased so these are the thing you expect you see in a patients with nephritic syndrome if you talk about the cbc the hb the hemoglobin decreased due to hemodilution in nephritic syndrome hb is low whereas hb or wbc increased due to hemoconcentration in a patients with uh, uh, what you call nephrotic syndrome it's a raised due to hemoconcentration here it's due to the hemodilution and if you talk about the ESR is usually less than 100 ESR is usually less than 100 in nephritic syndrome between 50 to 100 whereas in nephrotic syndrome is usually more than 100 okay guys so these are the important basic what you call the differences between the nephritic syndrome and the nephrotic syndrome okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care